So I've loaded the design for the rope tensioners, little leather rope tensioners, uh, into the Cricut software. What I'm going to do now, click make it. So that shows us how it's going to appear on the mat. I always just check that I've got the right top left and I've got enough space on the bottom, that's absolutely fine. A 12 by 12 mat and continue. It automatically finds my Explorer 2. On the dial I've set it to custom and now I choose faux suede. The pressure is fine with default and it's saying to load fine point blade clamp B which I've got. So let me just show you the cutting machine. I'm ready now to load the mat and we push that in. And then it's just a bit like a printer, except for it's going to uh, do the cutting. So when you're ready, we just press go. And it's going to take a while, so um, because it's got to cut the individual things and then cut the miniatures. So we'll come back when that's done. Got. There you are, you can see now each of the uh, little miniature rope tensioners and then all I do is use the spatula and just take those off. Okay, for the next bit then we're going to take one of the uh, leather rope tensioners that we've just cut I've just got some simple uh, cotton, some sharp sort of small scissors, and I've just threaded a needle with that. And I'm sure that the seamstresses, or anyone that does any sewing, will tell me there's a better way of doing it. This way I found works for me. So I fold the uh, leather over, and I just go sort of up from the bottom, either side can be the bottom and start and pull the thread through, but I, I hang on to you know, a fair bit at the end there, um, just so I can tie things off easily. Put it. I go round the outside and I go back up through the same hole. Okay. Then I go across the middle and then around the outside of the other one and back into the back, then I go across the back, almost done, up, and this time I go rather than around the outside, I go back over the middle and just finish it off there. Now, I pull up the, this is always the bit I get, it's fiddly, then I just tie a simple sort of double knot, easier said than done. And uh, when and if I've tied the second one, sorry about this, all fingers and thumbs. Again, somebody that probably does sewing or craft regularly will have an easy way of doing this. I did try doing it with sort of, I would sew on the bottom with sort of a double knot at the end, but actually I found that sometimes that the leather stretched. And then I just snip it off as close as I can to, without actually taking out the knot, to the knot. Okay, and there you are, that's one done, and then the rope is going to pass through that hole. So that's it. You now just have to do about 40 of those.